Good morning. Welcome to Alpha Omega's Column Hinge Temple. We're located halfway between Death Valley and Las Vegas in the Mojave Desert of the Southwest United States. And this morning it's cool. It's about 40 degrees. No wind, no clouds. Beautiful weather for observing sunrise. Good morning, Leslie. Good morning, David. Buenos dias a todos. Oh, look, there's a little hybrid lizard's hibernation hole. You see that right oh, there? Oh, look at that. Good morning, everyone. Yeah, the lizards are coming out of hibernation. It's warm enough for them during the day now. Yeah, the signs of spring are here. The very, very first. It's still pretty cold out here, but we have this morning one of those picture-perfect sunrises this desert is famous for. It's going to be absolutely magnificent. Yes, it is. And coming fast as well. The sunrise is starting to ignite clouds on the mountaintop. For those of you who might be here for the first time, we're performing a ritual called the opening of the treasury of light, which derives from the first book of Iowa, which derives from a manuscript discovered by James Bruce, in 1897, the so-called Bruce Codex, purporting to contain the magic that Jesus Christ practiced and taught to his disciples. Oh, here it comes. There it is. We'll be observing sunrise in silence. Before beginning. He is risen. All hail the sun, source of all life on earth. The visible sun is the dispenser of life to the earth. May the invisible light of the God force fill our souls from above. Take a deep breath and feel into your body. 
Really stretch your ribs when you take that breath and lean your shoulders back. Fill your lungs as deeply as you can. Drive nourishing oxygen deep into yourself. And visualize yourself as the tree of life, however it is you imagine that tree to be. Grow your branches up high into alpha sky. Drive your roots down deep into omega earth. I call on you in the east, alpha. I call on you in the west, Omega. I call on you in the north, Alpha. I call on you in the south, Omega. Alpha. At Omega. The beginning. And the end. And the path of the age between. Sunrise. And sunset. And the path of the sun between. Birth. And death. And the path of life between. This morning, I'd like to invite you, well, first of all, once again we stand here at the place where heaven and earth meet, where the physical matter of our physical bodies and of the earth reach out to the invisible, to the light and heat and warmth and energy streaming forth from the sun, stars and the galaxies. Now this morning, let's take just an extra moment to appreciate where we are. Notice the earth beneath your feet just how gigantic it actually is and how compared to the mass of the earth we are but insignificant tiny specks like ants crawling on its surface now see the earth circling around the sun we're in the outer darkness circling around and around the center as we reach out towards the center of our solar system and we reach out to the invisible, the light. Now for a moment, consider that our entire solar system is in the cosmic scale of things. Our planet is but a speck of dust going around a minor star, a tiny insignificant star, halfway out in one of the spiral arms of the Milky Way galaxy, itself but an insignificant galaxy, small in the overall scheme of things of the universe. But here from our solar system, we reach out also to the center of our galaxy, the galactic core. So this morning, as we open the treasury of light, we reach out to the kingdom of light and the center. Almighty angels, angels of opening, attend. Ozas And there are 12 heads in his treasury. And these are the names that are in the places 
when they sing praises unto my Father, and he gives light power unto them. Zo, zo, zo.
Having completed our journey through the places, at length we came to the place of perfect balance, the place of the midst, the place of contact with the Father of the Treasury of Light at the center of the Treasury. Almighty Father of the Treasury of Light, Emanation of my Father through the power of e -A -A. I invoke you by your cipher and by your name. O Open the portal. And let the God force pour forth upon all the earth. It is the intention of this ritual to establish human freedom worldwide. Human freedom worldwide. Protect the purity of our air. The purity of our air. The purity of our water the purity of our water, the purity of our food, the purity of our food, and the integrity of Homo sapiens genetic code, and the integrity of Homo sapiens genetic code. So mote it be. So mote it be. And in that hour when death comes calling to each and every one of us, may we shed this physical body like a serpent sheds its skin and not continue to return endlessly incarnation upon incarnation to this planet in servitude, to this bizarre system. But may we rise triumphant like the Phoenix into the kingdom of light as promised by the Master Jesus. The time of the great ascension is here. And may all those who thirst for the waters of life, for the God force energy, the fuel that fuels our souls pouring forth across the galaxy. May all those who thirst for abundant life be filled to overflowing with the rivers of life of the God force energy. So mote it be. So mote it be. Take a moment now to again feel into your body. The ancient ritual we are performing brings more God force energy to you. More energy to do the things you love to do. Better health. Faster thinking. And a confidence and security that comes from no other place than understanding that you are a sovereign soul and you are in control of what you do and you are the only one who can be a co-creator with God in this place. We as shards of God force incarnate are the active principle. We ourselves are a piece of God force energy moving and acting on the earth. And when you make the conscious decision to bring more God force energy into yourself, you become capable of the small miracles that make life so worth living. Oh, it's so nice <clears throat> to be out here again now that the winter chill is passing and we can feel the warmth of the sun on us in the morning in this beautiful moment as the chill of winter passes to feel the return of the vitality that flows through the grass the vitality that flows through all nature 
flowing once again through our veins. Thank you all for coming out, and we'll see you again tomorrow and each and every sunrise. We will be here transmitting the God Force energy for you. Today is Saturday. That's a special day. Every Saturday we have a new premiere at 9 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time of our weekly magic trading podcast, the Alpha Omega Mystery School. I'd like to invite you all personally to come out this morning on our YouTube channel at 9 a.m. where we're going to be releasing our latest film. You don't want to miss this one. Was Jesus Secretly a Magician? We're going to be providing new information, really society rocking stuff at the end of the day. It is a big deal. So we'll see you at 9, and thanks for coming. Until then, nothing else remains but to close the treasury once again by the angels of closing. Angels of closing, attend. Azui. Zui. Zui. Until we have the pleasure of each other's company again, may the God Force run strong within you. And, as always, may your magics work better than expected.